Here are some new details about the Canada Emergency Response Benefit, the CERB, and how it coordinates with Employment Insurance, or EI. Today is Friday, April 3rd. First, a new tidbit, the GST Credit Special Payment, which is a lump sum special payment equal to your current annual GST credit payment, will come one month earlier. It's now scheduled to come in April instead of the originally scheduled May. Uh, just under 12 million Canadians will get this special payment, and I'm sure this comes as welcome news. And now let's talk about CERB, or CERB, and EI, Employment Insurance. If you are eligible for employment insurance, you can continue to apply for EI until Monday, April the 6th, when the CERB portal opens. After that point, there looks to be one application process that will take over, and anyone who would have been eligible to apply for EI will go through the CERB process. Now, the president of the Treasury Board, Jean-Yves Duclos, has indicated that if you applied for EI after March 15th, you do not need to reapply, or apply, I should say, for the CERB, your EI application will automatically be transferred to the CERB program. What this suggests is the following. If you applied for EI after March 15th and your EI benefit would have been higher than the CERB, you're going to get the lower CERB amount of $2,000 per four weeks. And this will generally apply to people with annual earnings of just over 47,000 and change. If you applied for EI after March 15th and your annual earnings rate was less than $47,000, looks like you're going to get more support, again, because in this case, the CERB payment is higher than what you would have gotten with EI. If you applied for EI up until March 15th, you'll get the EI benefit, which is essentially 55% of your income. If your EI benefits run out before the CERB program period ends, which is currently uh, October 3rd of this year, you can then get the CERB. Similarly, if you get the CERB first, like now, but were eligible for EI, then EI picks up after the CERB program ends. So you can't get both at the same time. What happens if you stopped working before March 15th, but applied for EI after March 15th? If you are eligible for EI regular or sickness benefits prior to March 15th, your claim apparently will still be processed as EI. What if you already are receiving EI regular benefits? Should you reapply to get the CERB? And the answer looks to be no. If you are already receiving EI, you will continue to get the current EI benefits you're receiving. If your EI benefits run out before the end of the CERB program period, and if you meet the eligibility criteria for CERB, then you can apply for CERB then. And one final question that I've been getting asked quite a bit, or variations thereof, can you just stop working and get the CERB? And the answer looks to be no. It has to be involuntary and due to COVID-19. Subscribe to my channel if you're watching this on YouTube, or you can follow me on whatever platform you're watching this on to get more updates as I post them, and more updates are coming. In the meantime, stay vigilant, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video.